Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back. I've missed all 37 of you very much. Now, if you aren't one of those 37 people that subscribed to me in the past, I am Jonathan Kafori. I'm currently studying car design at an undisclosed school because I don't like my school very much and I don't feel like giving them free shout outs. But um, I basically took a huge hiatus from this whole ordeal of making YouTube videos just because I kind of got bored of it and also I feel like it was kind of more work than I expected it to be. So I'm here now trying to do a different path basically. Um, I'm, I'm currently interning in Detroit right now and I kind of don't have a ton to do uh, after work slash on the weekends. I'm filming this on a Friday right now, so I figured I should try something else and I've kind of been just thinking of ideas for, for like a little channel that I could do on my own and I figure because I'm studying transportation design, car design, motorcycle stuff, things like that, um, I figured I could do something kind of along those lines and I know there are a lot of channels that kind of already take current designs or slightly older designs and, and just modernize them in some way, but I kind of don't want this channel to be that. I'm not here to like basically what's called Photoshop um, images and sort of just make them look nice and new, I guess, because most of the time it's like not my thing. Um, so I figured kind of along those same lines with something different. Um, I want this channel to basically be like quick little sketch renders, um, basically two views I'm assuming for, for each vehicle that I do, um, of just some car that I love um, or that I think is important uh, that's ICE, meaning it's an internal combustion engine, and then making it electric. Um, so I figure that'll kind of give me like a little bit of a, a story, a little bit to think about while I do these sketches. I'm a very story driven designer and usually someone that's focusing more on making sure like my designs meet someone's needs uh, rather than on the styling side of things. Um, so I kind of want this channel to be a chance for me to work on sort of automotive styling more so than design, um, but also to hopefully kind of you know, still have fun with it, still make a little bit of a story, keep you guys entertained on the edge of your seats. So um, I hope you enjoy. The plan is to make it kind of unscripted and kind of just off the books, I guess. Um, hopefully I won't be dropping too many controversial opinions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll be sort of talking through these things and hopefully it's just kind of like fun kicked back vibe. So let me know what you guys think of this one. Um, and without further ado, let's get into the Alfa Romeo 6C. Okay, so of course for the first video, I'm gonna be doing an Alfa. Uh, if any of you know me, I'm very into Alfa Romeos. So first car we're starting with is uh, the 6C 2500 Berlinetta. Um, specifically, I'll be doing the, the touring one. It's an inline six cylinder, double overhead cam like most Alphas are uh, at the time. And I think it's freaking sexy as hell. I like, bloody hell, what a side view. Like, oof, that's a spice, that's a spicy little, little guy right there. So um, yeah, gonna be just doing basically a sketch over of this front view and this rear view. And I've actually already got these in Photoshop. All right, so to start, I'm just gonna kind of quickly run through what I'm doing to these uh, images to basically prepare myself for the sketch. So I'm just gonna kind of treat them like a newer car would look. So slam the DLO a little bit, widen the wheels out. Um, just kind of anything to help me prepare for the sketch over top of this. Um, and then you'll see, I'll just start sketching over that and kind of run through things. You'll see occasionally I'll make some small proportional changes and stuff like that. Um, but overall, just sort of sketching it. But yeah, until then, buckle up. I'm gonna leave you all alone. Uh, just sort of sit back, chill with some music and watch what you want. And then I'll be back at the end of it to just kind of walk through what I did with the design in the future. Uh, let me know if you guys like this kind of format. Maybe I can talk through the whole thing and uh, the music is sort of quieter. But yeah, there you go, enjoy.
Ta-da! All right, so here it is. Front view's done and rear view's done, obviously, but uh, I'll walk through the front view first. I think I like this. I think it captures the kind of mood I wanted out of this car. I wanted it to feel like it has some presence to it, uh, more along the lines of like a Continental GT rather than maybe an Aston Martin. And then, yeah, in terms of the kind of ev occasion of the vehicle, um, obviously got rid of the front grille and replaced it with just kind of a folded over piece of metal um, that captures the Alpha heart-shaped grille. Played around with the lights a little bit, something in between kind of what Alpha does right now and, and what feels like the kind of circular headlights that the vehicle had before. And then also that element on the side, um, I figure it could just be some sort of compartment, maybe a place to store, I don't know, a bottle of champagne or Chardonnay, something like that. And then moving on to the rear view, I think I like this. I think it accomplishes the kind of EV goal. Um, it still feels like an Alpha, maybe a little bit more like a TZ. Um, and I think, you know, ending with that kind of sharp ended tail will help with an EV car because it'll increase the aerodynamic efficiency, increases the range, um, all good things. And yeah, in terms of kind of design decisions that I made here, I just wanted to give a little bit more form to that rear boat tail section. Um, so there's a little bit more creasing to that area. And then also I wanted to have the wheel flat uh, in this rear part be a little bit uh, elongated, um, so not a perfect circle. To me, that always makes a vehicle feel a little bit more elegant. And then here they are together. So you can kind of just see what they look like side by side. Um, and overall, of course, let me know what you think of what I did. Uh, if you think it's pretty shit, then uh, go ahead and tell me. I, I don't mind. I'm, I'm happy to to hear, uh, hear the bad. And if you like it, go ahead and tell me what you liked about it. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you have any suggestions on the next vehicle to do, please let me know. Drop some comments down below. Hope everyone has a great week or weekend, depending on when I release this. And uh, peace out.